Hello and welcome to Maypop Farms. In this video, we'll show you how we made a living fence using chaya plants and palm fronds. First, we spaced out the chaya plants about four feet apart. However, we realized some were planted too closely together, so we had to thin them out. Next, we collected palm fronds, some living and some dead, to use as the main part of the fence, or the wattle. We then hammered the fresh palm fronds into the ground next to the posts to act as reinforcements so that everything would stay upright. To build the fence, we laid down the dead palm fronds in between each post using a zigzag pattern. For each frond, we placed the beginning on one side of the post and the end on the opposite side of the next post. We repeated this pattern for the length of the fence and then started the second layer with the same zigzag pattern but on the opposite side of the fence post from the first layer. A little ways up, we noticed that the palm fronds weren't staying together properly, so we wrapped twine around the reinforcements to encourage them to stay in place. After completing the fence, we were happy, but we decided to add some color and we planted some marigolds and blue mist around the fence. And that's it. We're pleased with how the fence turned out. Plus, the fence is a huge hit with the butterflies on our farm. They love it. Thank you for watching our video. Let us know if you decide to use this technique to build your own living fence. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content from Maypop Farms. See ya.